Okay, so we prove how the amplifiers are working. So we can hear the signal, right? Yeah. Okay. Now let's go back to our schematic. And let's modify the schematic. What do you think? Again? Yeah, again. It's fun. Well, let's take the speaker out. What about if we are connecting a coil here? Huh? That will be interesting. What about if we are connecting a coil here? Hmm. Hmm? What, what do you think it will happen? So this MOSFET, it will switch the coil, right? Yeah. So switching means it will charge the coil, release, charge, release, yeah? Yes. I mean, this is a switch, the MOSFET, it is a switch, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm thinking what that coil is doing there, because the, the coil is creating a um, magnetic, field. magnetic field, yes. Yeah. And? and? You use it for what? Well, we spoke about this, yeah? We mm -hmm. spoke about the quills. Mm -hmm. So what is the, 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 the thing you remember about the quills, how the quills are working? So you apply voltage, you apply current to the coil, mm -hmm. and what is happening, what the coil is doing? It's creating a magnetic field. Okay, yeah, I got that. You tell me one more time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, when you disconnect the power, what will happen? We spoke about the flyback current. Yes. So what the coil, it will do? It will fly back the current. What do you mean, exactly? So you charge it. Yes. And then after you take it out. Yes. He will give you back the what you charge. How? What do you mean, how? We spoke about the flyback current. So you charge the coil with plus and minus. Soon as you disconnect the coil from the, it will switch the plus and minus. It will switch. It will be plus and, and minus. minus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And just think, switching the coil quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, in order to prevent this, I said we can use a diode. Right. We can use a diode like that. You remember we spoke about this. Yeah. And the diode, it will short, yeah, having plus here, the plus it will goes on this direction and it will short the coil and we can get rid of the flyback current. Mm -hmm. You remember we spoke about this? Yes. Okay, good. What about if we are not getting rid of the flyback current? So we are charging, the coil is getting charged plus minus, mm -hmm. then when the MOSFET, it will cut down the power, I will have plus here and minus here, right? Yeah. Good. Plus here, does mean I can uh, use, how can I take out this plus? I can use one diode, right? Mm -hmm. So the plus, it will flow in this direction, yeah? Plus and minus, yeah. right? So does mean the current, it will flow in this direction. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what can I do? Here I will have like pulses, right? It will be, it will be like that. Yeah. You agree with me? Yeah. That will be the signal. I can use a capacitor, a smoothing capacitor. And from here, I will have the current here. It will be nearly like a straight line. So here I will have basically some voltage, right? So from here to here. I mean, we can do it anyway. Look, 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 mm. look, yeah? Mm. Uh, you ask me, what is the point? I mean, what, what is the point? I mean, we have voltage here. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, what, what is the point, what a diode to have here voltage, yeah? Why we cannot just, you know, use a wire from here to here and we have voltage, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But I told you about a particularity of the coil. Okay, so let's speak about the coils.
So that's the coil, right? Yeah. Okay. What is the resistance of the coil? The resistance? Yeah. All will be zero. Nearly to zero. Nearly. Depends of the coil. You remember we checked the transformer and it was like what? Yeah. The big transformer. I can't remember. It was like... Um, 20, 30 ohms, something like that. I think it was 18. 18? No, it was 22. 22. 22. Okay. Yeah. Depends of the coil. Yeah. So uh, you understand the resistance of the coil is very low. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good. Now, coming with current, because here we are speaking about pure current. You know, what voltage we can have across a wire. Because the coil is a wire, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, charging the coil, yeah, basically you charge the coil with current. Mm -hmm. The coil is creating a magnetic field. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, in the moment you disconnect the, the, the power, the coil will bounce back with inverse voltage. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, what, what it will be, this, I'm, I'm asking strictly about the voltage. What it will be the voltage, the coil it will bounce back. The same voltage you apply? Uh, not really. It, it means you are not losing anything on the coil. And it's impossible. It's against the oh. physics rules. So it will be a bit lower than we apply? Uh, you know no, what? It, it'll, wait, it will be a bit higher than we applied, right? You don't think the magnetic field matter? You don't think the current we are applying to the coil matter? Yeah. So coming with more current onto the coil, what will happen? We have a bigger magnetic field, right? Yeah. The magnetic field, it will get induced into the coil. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So bigger current does mean higher voltage on the output, right? Yeah. But the numbers of the coils, yeah, or the numbers of the spins from inside of the coil, yeah, it's also matter. More spinning inside because we are spinning about wire, which is spin around the ceramic uh, core. Yeah. With magnetic, some magnetic properties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, multiple spinnings mm -hmm. means higher voltage. Yeah. Because this magnetic field it will get induced into the wire. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the voltage, the output voltage depends on what. The output depends of the uh, current that you apply. The current that you apply and also the coil. Yeah, the, the number of spinning inside of the coil. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. So, uh, basically, we can convert, yeah? So, coming with high current, creating a bigger uh, magnetic field, we can have bounce back voltage, higher voltage. So we can convert the current into the voltage. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can come with nearly no voltage onto the coil as the coil has a very low resistance. Mm -hmm. But coming with high current, creating a bigger magnetic field that will have like higher voltage on the output. Higher voltage compared with the input. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It is clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, checking this schematic. And I know you'll, you'll say, uh, one second, so the current flow, it will be like how? You'll have a current flow like this, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you said uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get a diode, which here we have plus, so the plus, it will uh, follow the diode sign, yeah? Mm -hmm. And here I'll have voltage. I mean, even if I disconnect this gate, here I will have 12 volts. Mm-hmm. Because I have, because I have the you know my voltage can come like that, yeah. And I have two other volts here because the coil has like nearly zero ohms, right? Mm -hmm. Then I have a diode which it will drop the voltage probably like zero point two volts, yeah. Mm -hmm. And here I will have twelve volts. You understand? Yeah. So what's the point of having this circuit? Like how I said, the MOSFET, it will switch the coil fast, yeah? It's switching the coil to ground. Mm -hmm. 
That means this coil, it will take exactly 12 volts, yeah? Mm -hmm. Of course, that's impossible because that's, it will short our, uh, it will show our power supply by coming with small, yeah? With very short times, yeah? Switching this coil to ground, the coil, it will bounce. You okay. understand? Yeah. Now, using a diode, mm -hmm. okay? Then we have a capacitor, then we have the output voltage. Now, like how I said, if we are increasing the current on this coil, this coil can bounce with higher voltage. This is called current boost converter. That's how it's called. Because what you are doing, you are converting the current into the voltage. Into the voltage. So this is a booster. Mm -hmm. You come with 12 volts and you get more than 12 here. Now, why why you are using why we are using a diode here? Because here we have 12, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the switching is above 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 zero. Why we are using this diode? Uh, because of the um, flyback. Yeah, but. Yeah, but um, I mean, we can use a wire. We can use a wire from here to here, like without diode. Yeah, but the diode, it, it, it will, uh, the current, it will go in one direction. Yeah, but... but what about wire? We, with wire, it will not go like that. I will mean, I will not have the same voltage here. That's mm. what I'm asking mm. you. Hmm? Why do why we are using a diode here? Because here is no AC. Here is switching. It's above zero. It's not negative voltage. Because if he, here will be a wire, right? Mm -hmm. The capacitor, it will be straight connected here. And the capacitor, it will slow down everything. Mm hmm so we're here, we are speaking of fast switching. You know, if you come with a capacitor, everything, it will be slowed down and this circuit, it will not work. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. It's clear? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Now, before we are going to this circuit, you know what I want to do? Mm. I want to raise the frequency on this uh, PWM uh, generator. How we are increasing the frequency? With the capacitor. With the capacitor. So I want to change these capacitors to lower the capacitor about 10 times or more. Let's try a few nanofarad capacitors. But you know what's the catch? Mm. If, we, if we still have the speaker here, mm. well, I want to change the capacitor and I want to hear what frequency it is. Mm? Okay. It's still working. Can you check if it's still working? Just to know from where we are starting. Yeah, and touch with the speaker on the drain of the MOSFET. On the... On the drain, yeah. Okay, we know. Now let's replace the capacitors. Okay, so what capacitors are these? Capacitors? Yeah, what value they have. Oh, let me see. Um, it says three, three, two. Okay, what does it mean? It's uh, three, three, two. Oh, it's 332 microfarad. Nanofarad, sorry. Huh? Huh? It's three, three, two. So the first number, three. Mm -hmm. The second number, three. Mm -hmm. And the third number is the number of zeros. Oh! Okay. <laughs> it's same like like with the resistors. With the resistors, okay. So it's uh, three thousand three hundred. Okay. Three thousand three hundred. Three thousand three hundred. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which means. Which means three thousand three hundred. Yeah. Not, what? Nanofarad. No. It's micro. Microfarad. No, you have farad, you have microfarad, then you have nanofarad, nanofarad picofarad. Uh, 
So this is 3,300. Pic Picofarad? Yeah. Oh. Which means how, ma how, ma how many nanos? So you have, wait, you have uh, farad, micro, nano, nano pico. pico. It means how many what? You said it's 3,300 pico. Pico. How many nano? It's one step uh, up. Uh, one step up, it does mean 330. <laughs> how, from where did you take that number? I just got a zero. <laughs> no, you don't have to cut a zero. You have to move the the comma, three, three numbers. Why three numbers? Because oh. a, a thousand pico is wait, one nano. Wait, you asked me how many farads? No, how many nano farads? So you said have three thousand three hundred, right? Pico. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a thousand pico, it's one nano. Oh, I didn't know that. What do you mean you didn't know that? Uh, I thought... A thousand uh, nano, it's one micro. A thousand nano? It's one I, micro. I, I thought it's a hundred. No. When it was a hundred, it's same like with the resistors. A thousand ohms, it's one kilo. Oh, okay, yeah. So, okay, so what is the value? So... Uh... Three point three. You sure? I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's zero point three. Zero point three? <sighs> I'm not sure. You type you you cut down three zero. How hard can be? You cut down three zero? Yeah. Or you move the comma, mm. three numbers. How hard can be? And that's 3.3. 3. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. okay, let's replace the capacitors. Capacitors. Hmm? Capacitors. So you replace them? Yeah. Let's check now. I just want to hear the frequency. All right. Okay. So it should be higher, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. I touch them. Oh! I can slightly hear something. Really? Yeah. It, it's powerful. It's loud, yeah. Really? Yeah. Lord. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's some somewhere on the top of the of the audio scale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably around 15, 15, 15,000 hertz, 15 kilohertz. I have no idea how how many But how 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 high is the pitch? It is high. Yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, probably around 15. Good. Next time we're gonna build... A bomb? <laughs> your first no. current boost converter. First current boost converter? Yeah, that's how it's called. Oh, okay. It's exciting. You, you take a small voltage and yeah. you end up with higher voltage. This is like a dream, you know, like, oh, I can have a discharge battery. I can have a fully charged one, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But have in mind, you can't take out more than you put in. So it's not like, okay, I have higher voltage, you'll have same current you put in, or same power, mm -hmm. power. That's, that's not the power. You'll always have less power. You just convert the current into the, the voltage. voltage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you will have less current at the output. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm.